Hello everyone. We have already discussed about the terms distance and displacement in the previous video. In this video, we will be looking at the difference between these two terms. This is a figure that I have shown you already in the previous video, wherein there are two points A in Delhi and B in Hyderabad. And these are some of the paths that one can choose uh, to reach point B from point A. And as you can see here, each path is associated with a particular distance that has to be traveled between the same two points. And among all these paths, path number one refers to the shortest distance between points A and B since it connects straight away the two points. So from here we can figure out a few differences between the terms distance and displacement. So let's look at them. We define distance as the actual path traversed by the body. But the displacement is the shortest distance between the two points which a body takes. Distance traveled is not a unique path between two points, but the displacement refers to a unique path between two points. As you can see here, all the five paths give a certain distance between the two points, but the displacement is given by only one path that is path number one. And so we call it unique. Let's say there is a straight road which I have graduated like this in terms of meters. Now, this is uh, suppose this is our reference point that is point A, and this is the positive x direction, this is the negative x direction which is in this side of 0. Let's say a girl moves from point O to point A like this and reaches. 8 meters ahead of O which is point A and at this point the distance that she has traveled is 8 meters but the displacement is also equal to the distance which is 8 meters since the road is a straight one. Now let's say the girl uh, returns to point O and comes back to point C here like this and here what she has done she has covered back the same distance that is 8 meters to O. And again she has moved backwards to point C and covered has covered 9 meters extra. So the distance here in this case at point C becomes 8 plus 8 plus 9 which is 25 meters. But for displacement we just need to see the final and the initial positions of the body which is minus 9 and 0. So minus 9 minus 0 will be minus 9 meters. So here the distance is 25 meters but the displacement is minus 9 meters. Now suppose she moves back to her initial position which is point O like this. Now at this point the distance becomes increased, distance increases by 9 meters again since she has traveled from C to O. So the distance becomes 25 plus 9 which is 34 meters but at the same time the displacement becomes 0 meters because the initial and the final position of this curl is the same that is point O. So the displacement here is literally 0 meters. So you can see that there is a difference in distance and displacement values in this case. And from this situation we can figure out some more differences between distance and displacement. So let's list them. Distance can never be 0 or negative. As we can see here in this case. It is always positive, but the displacement has become zero, negative, positive, unlike distance. So we can say that the displacement can be positive, negative or zero, but the distance can never be negative or zero. It is always positive. The next thing that we notice is distance is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity. Now let me remind you what is a scalar and a vector quantity. A scalar quantity is always concerned about the magnitude of the path taken here. For example, distance. We are only concerned about the length of the path here and which is independent of the direction of the body that is moving. But in case of displacement, we consider both the things that is the magnitude and the direction of the body. So distance is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity since it encloses direction of the body as well. Now the distance can be equal to or greater than the displacement. 
we can notice here that distance is always either equal to displacement like at a and in rest of the two cases it is not equal to the displacement but greater than displacement so this justifies this point here which says distance can be equal to or greater than displacement and displacement can be equal to or less than distance both the points mean the same we can figure out some more points here the distance travel gives the full information of the type of path followed by the body whereas the displacement between two points does not give the full information of the type of path followed by the body but it gives information only about the initial and the final positions of the body that we are concerned with the distance never decreases with time for a moving body it is never zero as we can see here that distance has never decreased with time but it has increased with time but in case of displacement it can decrease with time as we can see here first it was 8 meters and then it has become minus 9 and then 0 so it can even decrease with time unlike distance here in this table I have summarized all the points that we have discussed in this video as you can see here I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.